Oh, I forgot to set my face. And welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos once or twice a week. Anyway, today's video is on a yet another tutorial on this eye look here. Sort of been kind of not say stuck in a rut or like writer's block maybe, like writer's block for YouTube where I can't figure out what else to do. So I keep coming up with eye looks. Hopefully you guys are still interested and hopefully are still watching this. Um, today's look is sort of a really pretty like pink and gold look. I've been doing this look a lot. I've done it three days in a row. So I figured why not just turn on the camera and film it since I'm so comfortable doing it and I absolutely love it. I'm still using exactly the same products that I bought maybe like a month or so ago. Still using all of my ColourPop stuff and my e.l.f. stuff so nothing new here. If you have all these items and you can go ahead and follow along with me I would love to see you guys recreate any sort of looks and if you do please tag me in them. Follow me on Instagram. I love seeing pictures of what you guys do on your everyday basis. I have pictures of, you know, makeup and sometimes I even throw in a little here and there of like my family and stuff. So I would love to see that from you as well. So please connect with me that way. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already got my face, eyebrows, the whole shabam on. So for today, I am going to prime my eyes with something a little bit different, but sort of the same. I'm just going to go in with a different color of those Super Shock like matte shadows, and I'm going in with the shade Kennedy. It's a little um, more orange or peach tone uh, or whatever. I've already kind of hit pan on it, or maybe I've moved the product around so much that I've seen the bottom of the pan. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lids with this color today. If you hear little footsteps, that is my little human. She is awake and out and about. I am still pretty much obsessed. I'm getting so boring, right, you guys? But I'm still pretty much obsessed with the e.l.f. Matte for Matte. It's the best, like, range of matte colors or matte shades, and I just love it for, like, everyday use. Even though I'm not using this whole palette for this look today, I just love it for all the, like, neutrals and the transition colors and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to take this sort of fluffy brush here, and I'm going to dip into this pink, pinky shade right there. Using exactly the same brush, I'm just gonna take my towel here and, you know, clean it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go into this darker pink right here and pretty much place it in exactly the same place, just a tiny bit lower. I'm going to go in with this brush. It's a little more dome shaped and kind of tougher than my other brush. It's um, a little more stiff, a little bit more rough actually. And I'm going to dip into this orangey shade right here and sort of um, just kind of mix it them all together. It's going to kind of look like a sunset on your eyes. Take that fluffy brush and just take um you know this bone color here place some of that in this area just to blend this further out i'm gonna take uh crimper oh i love crimper it's so pretty 
pretty. I haven't used it in a hot minute. And I used it the other day and I thought, oh my God, this look is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna take my ring finger and just dip into that bad boy. And to further intensify that, I'm going to take a little bit of the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive and just pick up a, a little bit there and sort of stamp it on top. I've noticed that not only does this like intensify it, but it also makes it last longer. So. I just want to put a little bit on the high points of my brow bone. I love to use it like for just about everything. Oh, it's so pretty. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do liner and lashes off camera and then I will come right back so that we could do lips together. Okay, so I forgot about my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into the same three colors that I did, which was that light pink, that darker pink, and then that orangey color, and just run it all, you know, down my lash line. I'm gonna take that fluffy blending brush and sort of just blend this out a little bit. Okay, for lips, I've been loving this lip liner. It is the Natural Lip Liner by uh, NYX. It's just like a, you know, really pretty, like your lips but better color is what I like to call it. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips real quick. And then for my liquid lip, I'm going to use Give Me Mocha by Wet n Wild. This is pretty much like my go-to for any sort of look. Not only is this formula like super long lasting, but it's incredibly comfortable. And I have really dry, dry lips. And this is the only liquid lipstick so far that I have found that's both affordable and just wonderful for me. So I always rave about these for a reason. If you ever decide to purchase any sort of liquid lip, I highly recommend this one. And this is the finished looks. Hopefully you enjoyed my tutorial today on this pink gold-like look with my mauve mocha-ish lips. Whatever, I'm just trying to be somewhat fancy for you guys. But if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up or a like on this video and spread my love for makeup. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.